Okay, here we go. This is lesson two of how to draw a speed record car. And um, I did the front wheel and haven't done much on the tire yet, but I did the front wheel because it was pretty complicated. It took me a while to do, so I thought rather than having you have to sit through that, I'd go ahead and do it myself. And it was really, really a pain to do because it's uh, it's got so many spokes in it. And uh, it was... It was hard to uh, to emphasize the bits that I wanted and stuff. It's not quite done yet either, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the car as dark as it is in the photograph that I have. And when I do, then that's going to mean I'm going to have to darken up the part of the car that you can see through the wheel even more than it is. So uh, that's going to take some time. But that also is going to help me because it's going to separate the car from the the shadow that's underneath the car. And uh, that'll be a good thing. Not only that, but there is a, a, a border on the car, as you can see, down at the top and, and right in the middle. And uh, that looks like it's some kind of metal strapping or something to hold it together. And that's going to make it so that at least you can tell that there is a dividing line between the car and the shadow. So, uh, so that part's going to work out okay. Um, in case you didn't see yesterday, this this car in 1906 set a world's land, ultimate absolute land speed record, and it was 127.659 miles an hour, which is just going like unbelievably fast for a two-cylinder steam engine. I mean, really, it was just uh, unbelievable that this guy would even try to drive this thing. As a matter of fact, if you take a look at it. That doesn't look a lot different than a bicycle wheel or a motorcycle wheel at the time. And that kind of speed with what I'm guessing is a car that was fairly heavy, uh, a boiler and, and all the water that it had with it and everything else that went along with it would probably be pretty heavy. I didn't see anything about the, uh, the weight figures, but uh, I'm guessing there probably wasn't a lot of suspension on this thing either. So... Uh, this has got to be one scary ride to be doing almost 130 miles an hour in a car that's uh, that's basically held together <laughs> with nothing. It looks like a, a wooden boat chassis. Uh, the body looks like a wooden boat turned upside down and, and probably built with about the same kind of care. So um, all of it looks like the guy had uh, had a lot of guts to get in this thing and try to do what he did, and he did. Unfortunately, the next year, they came back to try and increase the speed, and he was nearly killed in the wreck. So that was the end of their record chasing. But um, but this is one gutsy guy to try this. I mean, this, this is just unbelievably heroic, I think. Anyway, um, it's coming along, as you see. Uh, I did some of the shadowing underneath, so I kind of set the car off. You can see where that goes. And like I say, the body's going to be a lot darker and the part inside the wheel is going to be too. Uh, running out of time now, but I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Um, now that we've gotten those really twiddly bits out of the way, the stuff that's really fussy and hard to do, uh, we'll start doing some of the stuff that's on the, on the side of the car, the body itself. And I hope to see you back here tomorrow because we're going to do a whole bunch more. Thank you very much. Bye.